Unintended pregnancy is a major health issue that is particularly dominant in teenage girls. Statistics show that teenage pregnancy has negative impacts on teen mothers as well as on their children. Teen moms are less likely to get necessary prenatal care, but more likely to deliver babies preterm at lower birth rates. Only 38% of teenage mothers graduate from high school, and they are more likely to live in poverty and rely on public assistance. Children of teenage mothers tend to score lower on standardized tests and are less likely to complete high school themselves. Organizations such as the South Carolina Campaign to Prevent Teen Pregnancy work locally to provide education, awareness, and advocacy, as well as research and evaluation regarding the effectiveness of programs in the state. On a national scale, nonprofits such as the Candies Foundation create campaigns designed to raise awareness and motivate teens to prevent teen pregnancy. How sex education is taught in public schools is often a topic of much controversy. Some believe that abstinence until marriage should be the only option taught at schools. On the other end of the spectrum, some believe that a comprehensive sex education program is necessary in order to educate teenagers on safe sex practices. Studies show that abstinence-only programs are not working. In fact, adolescents in states that require abstinence-only sex education programs have significantly higher teenage pregnancy rates than states that teach comprehensive sex education programs. However, in states like South Carolina, major component of the Bible Belt, moral and ethical objections to premarital sex detract from the science-based approach that should be involved in the creation of policies regarding sex education. The number of teenage pregnancies in South Carolina has declined by more than 26% in the last 10 years. However, South Carolina still has the 12th highest birth rate for girls ages 15 to 19. Teen pregnancy costs taxpayers in South Carolina about $197 million a year, a number that would be far larger without programs designed for prevention. Public health must continue to do its job in order to keep the number of teenage pregnancies on the decline.